thoughts on the plushy niche. So, plushy niches are really good, right? Let's have a look. So, plushies are really, really, really good. The thing is, though, again, best selling products sometimes are going to be um, oh, copyright, copyright, copyright. Wait, where's the report button? Where's the report button? How do you report these guys? You know, like this kind of stuff, it's going to lead you to issues, right? Like this kind of stuff. This is what, this is Disney. Disney don't mess around, bro. I don't know. Like this kind of stuff is, is, is difficult to do. So that's the one thing is like plushies. A lot of the stuff that's going to sell really well for you is going to be copyright um, in terms of other people own the, the intellectual property to it. Even like Heinz beans, you can't do this shit. So you got to be a bit careful of that. But overall, plushies, killer niche. Um, you are going to get a lot of orders. They are going to be very low AOV. It's the only problem. Um, but you will get orders. You will get orders. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of demand for this type of product. It's just the low AOV that's going to be your problem. Okay. So yeah, I mean it works. It's great. But again, just the low AOV, right? But some of this stuff is cool, right? Um, and you just want to really try and get that um, the average order value as high as humanly possible. But like, look at this. I love these. I love these listings because they just break. Um, that makes sense, you know. Tiny baby leggy froggy, bruv. Like. How, this one's got so many fucking sales like four thousand orders and it's like the simplest bullshit little fucking thing in the entire world it's great tiny crocheted things like it's fucking wonderful love this kind of shit but yeah